What's up, people? Hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, you know, if I go to sleep, I like to get into a meditative state. I like to forget about what people think is reality and get into that trance, you know, and that's when I get my messages. And I couldn't sleep tonight without getting this one out because it's something I'm going to do. It's something I recommend. It's called cord cutting. Now, if you, uh, you're familiar with astrology, you know what we're going through. We're in Pisces season. It's winding down. And it washes away things. It's the last of the signs in the cycle. So it's a complete cycle into our true new year, which begins in the spring, the equinox, into airy season when we start to get things moving. And it's ironic how on top of that we had the retrograde, in Mer Mercury's retrograde in relationship sector. You know, it's it's been a, I'm sure a lot of people out there have got stories about people coming back or reconciling or not reconciling or just the old feelings coming back up from the dead so to speak to be dealt with and that's the beauty of these retrogrades when these planets go in reverse like that or they look like they go in reverse it's your time for review it's not a time to get scared of this shit you know what i'm saying like some people might have you believe but uh that being said when you finally come to the end like we are we're getting close to the end of the retrograde and Jupiter's about to go retrograde, you know, all these planets are shifting, so you kind of feel something bigger is coming for you. If you've been doing the work, you know what I mean? You wouldn't be watching this if you didn't. But um, today we're going to talk about cord cutting, and I don't want you to view this as a ritual. A ritual is something that you do every day, like brushing your teeth. I want you to think of this as a, a ceremony, a graduation, something that you're going to do once, maybe in a great while. It's not something you want to get used to because what you're doing is you're letting go of bullshit, really. And um, with, you know, the spirit realm overrides all this shit or the unseen realm. Everything that we have here came from there, the unseen. It's as simple as you had a thought about a piece of art or whatever it is you do, and then you went through the process of bringing it into being. So it's the same situation, you know, same with the spirit world and the physical world. And, you know, if you think otherwise, that's like saying your house and your car is bigger than God, if you're religious, you know what I'm saying? That's just some bullshit. It's, uh, just a reflection, a, sh a shimmer, really. But back to the core cutting, we're all connected some way, somehow. Fuck six, de six degrees of separation, you know, that too. But, I mean, we're all connected. We are all, when I see people, I don't really, I just go right past who, where they come from, what they look like, and I try to get to the essence of a person. You know, it's a gift and a curse. Uh, in itself, that you can see the best parts of people, even if they can't see it, you know what I mean? But that being said, there's people in your lives that are going to be in and out of your life. Soulmates, people who bring profound lessons. Now, soulmates aren't always peaches and cream. Sometimes they're the ones that fuck you over the worst. I mean, the worst, to put you in a dark night of the soul kind of thing where you're forced to go within. And that's where you learned the appreciation for this motherfucker, right? It's like they turned you inside out in order to make you grow where you wouldn't have done it on your own necessarily. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have that catalyst or that karmic partner to come in there and just be like, you know, whoop your ass a little bit. So it takes a, a great deal just to get to that point where you can forgive that from them and see the bigger picture. And that's what we're all about now is the bigger picture. It ain't about the details, even though the devil's in the details, right? And, and rightly so, but the bigger picture is bigger than you. It's bigger than your personal issues. When you focus on that, it makes things a lot clearer as far as your part in it. You know what I mean? Your 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 input, your your purpose is as valid as anybody else's, and it's all part of a, you know, it's a collective. We're a part of a collective. Uh, I still have dreams where I remember people just standing in a room, not saying anything. We could just, we weren't saying a thing, but we could all, we were all on the same page, so to speak. We didn't have to uh, verbally speak. We could just think a thought, you know what I mean? Like a picture almost. And I'm looking around the day when I was walking, I'm like, yo, this this place just it just feels off. It really is started to feel off. Okay. But not neither there. Cord cutting. And with any kind of ritual or ceremony, you only need your imagination and your willingness to see it through. I repeat that. 
your intention, your imagination. You don't have to go to a guru or somebody who knows better uh, as far as they've been through the process. And that's not a bad idea, but for your ultimate power to be manifested, let it come from you. Get the practice in, you know, uh, see the example so you can be the example. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to write certain things on here, uh, names, uh, situations that just, just, they still got a little bit of a hold on you. You know what I'm saying? You know how you just remember that one person that you was with, maybe, uh, like one soulmate I have, like we were just, that shit was passion. Like you, you it's just, that's that, that sex you miss sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause y'all was in it like that, but the rest of that shit, you'd be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But you learned your lesson regardless. And we still have attachments to things and people and places that no longer serve us. And it's hard to get rid of. So you have to do it ritual. You have to do it uh, spiritually, excuse me. You got to do it in a way that is symbolic and marks the occasion. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write all that on here and I'm going to hang them up. And then I'm going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut them like cutting a cord. You know what I'm saying? Cutting a cord from all of that that it's no longer relevant as far as the journey. You had to, you've had the class, you had all the notes, you got the lesson. Now it's time to move on to the next uh, classroom, the next, uh, you know, the higher, uh, the higher up. You don't want to stay on that level, and it's hard. But you do these kind of things for your own benefit, and. Uh, it's funny because I thought of my grandfather today. And forgiveness is a very powerful uh, tool in your healing. You know what I'm saying? Because I know people who've done some really heinous shit. You know, I've heard the stories. Uh, I know I've done some shit. I know you've done some shit. But, you know, the real heinous, you know, people who grew up with these traumas of being abused and, uh, you know, just some shit, you, you know, just horrific shit that's just hard to get over. And this is a good way to do it. And you take your pen, you write it on here. And the thing about it is you make this, you know, what I'm finna do, what I'm finna do is I'm finna hold on to this and I'm gonna put all that uh, negative, any hate, any, any anything that's blocking me getting to the next part of my, my, my purpose into this rope. You know what I'm saying? And on one side, I, I'm gonna do it my own way. I'm not gonna give out my 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 how I do it because that's for me. I'm gonna give you an examples of what you could do. You could put your name on one half and whoever on the other half, and just cut it down the middle. You know what I'm saying? And after you do this shit, you celebrate. You get on some music. You get you a glass of wine. You smoke a blunt. You smoke a blunt. You go out. You party. You dance. You do whatever it is to bring the joy back. You know you gotta fill the missing place now. You know there's a place in your heart that is holding on to it, and once that's out of there, you gotta make sure that what you put in there or what replaces that space is positive, or you know conducive to your journey as it is right now. Because that might change. You might have to cut another cord ten years from now. Who knows? But, and that's why I said I want it to be a ritual, because you don't want to keep doing this every day, because you keep replaying the shit over and over. You want to do it once and be done with it, and be done with it. That's why I say you celebrate. Uh, like in the ancient traditions, that's why they did the cutting and the piercing, because it, the pain is something you wouldn't forget, and it marks that occasion, you know what I mean? But in this light, it doesn't need, it doesn't need to be painful. It, it could be something very joyous. Do something you've never done before afterwards. Take a trip. Uh, uh, talk to that person you, you you just never had the heart to before, or, or, or you know what I mean? Just do, take on an adventure that you've always wanted to do in your heart, or something that's outside of what you're normally uh find yourself in, you know what I mean? Take the day off, go spend it with your kids. It could be that simple, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, cut your cords with the past. That's what this retrograde is teaching us. You know, it's a review time. What no longer serves you? What people are going to be in your life are going to be there. Those are not, they're going to fall away. And, uh, you know, some of us, like myself, we the type of people to give you that rope, you know what I'm saying? So you can do it yourself. It's like, it's a do-it-yourself kit when it comes to that. 
<laughs> you know, say with me, and I'm sure a lot of people, you you gonna let people do what they do and be who they are. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you should be. But um, forgiveness first off for yourself, then the people involved. If you choose, you know, you know what I'm saying. You don't gotta talk to nobody. You ain't gotta say shit to them. But get it out your way. Get it out your heart. Don't let it linger. That shit is like cancer. It becomes cancer if you let it eat at you. That's how that shit works. Your thoughts are everything in this motherfucking physical world. If you think it's going to happen, like, subtly, you know, you get an intuition about somebody and they call or they show up. And the only reason you don't focus, you can't label that shit. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't put a time stamp on that shit. You can't. There's no way you can rationalize what just happened or how you knew that. You just knew. So it's time to get back into just knowing. We are in the age of Aquarius. You just know. You know what I'm saying? Peel back all this shit and what do you have left? You know what I'm saying? You're one with the source. You think the source don't know everything going on? Uh, all these timelines and shit, all these different lives and shit. It's just... We're cloaked in these physical forms with these egos that make us think we're separate. So you got to remember that, you know what I'm saying? When you cut this, you're not sending no ripples out there to fuck with nobody else either. You know what I'm saying? You keep that. That shit going to come back. That ripple going to come back. I just put that there. You know what I'm saying? You, you getting out of the dire straits into the calmer waters, but you're not going to sit here and throw something at somebody else. Let them deal with what they got to deal with as far as the situation is concerned. But you go about your business, you know what I mean? <clears throat> when I do this, I make sure to send out a peaceful vibe because I've always wanted to see people just do better, you know what I'm saying, regardless of how we interact or they interact with anybody else or anything, but just be the better version of yourself, you know what I'm saying? So you put that out there, you put all that grief and anger and all that shit on this rope and you let it the fuck go. You cut that shit right down the middle and then you do whatever you want. You can burn it. Like I had these two shoe strings laying around. I ain't going to lace up two different shoes on You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to buy another pair. But one thing I want you to remember is you always have everything that you need. I learned that when I was homeless, living in the woods, big ass sign was out. In the junk pile, said dreams homes exist. And sure enough, that was a dream home for me. You know what I'm saying? And everything I needed, when I needed it, was there. Everything comes from within, outwards. So if you believe in a lack of this and that, then that's what you're going to get in this world. You know what I'm saying? But that belief is Pisces. We're out of that. We're going into Aquarius. We're in Aquarius. We've been in it for a while as far as the ages. And it's funny how the ages go this way as we go this way. You feel what I'm saying? The ages go backward. So the next one would be Capricorn, whereas uh, how we view it, it's Aries, you know, Taurus, Gemini. But when it comes to the ages, they go backwards. It's just something to think about. It's above, so below. Peace out. <laughs>